get ready 10 seconds 5 seconds start mr deputy chairman the middle class is amongst the people hit hardest by the new taxation policy on the one hand the tax on their income is on the increase and thereby their income is decreased and on the other hand articles of consumption are being subjected to forces which raise their prices in these circumstances it will be very difficult for these classes to balance their budget and the question of their saving anything and their investing their savings for purposes of common good is very problematic sir the middle classes as is well known are the backbone of the society they are the real workers of the land and they should not be disabled or made vitally less enthusiastic by these measures in contributing towards the success of the plan the indirect taxes have really got an inflationary tendency to a complaint made in this respect the honorable finance minister said that the inflationary tendencies are already there and that the government through these excise duties will be able to mop up a portion of the extra profits for the benefit of the exchequer and he implied that these excise duties need not raise the prices in many cases the inflationary tendencies are due to the play of market forces and the prices will go up to a maximum that can be borne by the consumer sir he seems to have a very tender heart for the inflationary tendency but i do not know whether the inflationary tendency has got any compunction or consideration for the ability or the inability of the consumer to bear the prices that those tendencies may put up in certain other cases he admits that the excise duties do raise the prices and in such cases excise duties are designed to restrain consumption either to bring about internal investment or to increase exports in certain cases i admit that higher prices may restrain and restrict consumption for example if the price of sugar is raised people may consume less sugar that is a known fact but it does not stop there in such cases human nature must be taken into consideration it is a matter of common knowledge that if sugar 
is beyond the reach of the people they do not stop there they take to other alternative articles they go in for gur or such other things and therefore no saving is effected thereby sir then take the private sector increased targets have been set up in the second five year plan for this sector and they have to fulfill those targets in the vital interests of the country because the development in the private sector forms a vital part of the economy of the country as a whole but the question is under the present proposals of taxation and the conditions that will be created by giving effect to those proposals how is this sector to find its resources for realizing the increased targets that have been set for it every one the common man the middle class person and the upper class men has to bear heavier burdens under the new taxation policy the government want to mop up extra profits they are increasing taxes on income and they cut even into the corpus of the capital through such taxes as those on wealth and expenditure thereby reducing the wealth already formed through the savings of the people under the circumstances one wonders how the private sector is to find its resources for enabling it to realize the targets set before them i do not know whether the finance minister has said anything explicit or clear on this matter if the targets of the private sector are not fulfilled that will create a grievous gap in the development of the country what i think is we must frame our plan mainly basing it on our internal resources and work that plan side by side with that we may have another set of projects and schemes which may be executed as and when we get sufficient foreign exchange and foreign aid otherwise what will happen is if we are not clear cut in this matter of keeping internal resources mainly separate from the foreign aid and foreign exchange we will be landed in difficulties in the middle of the execution of the plan then it will be very difficult for the country to get back from the midstream then if we set about to find foreign aid and exchange the position of the country will have to be compromised in many directions and that is not good for the country now i want to deal with one or two concrete points which may bring in a sizable amount of foreign exchange to the country one point is with regard to the export of raw goat skins 
an export duty on the export of this article may be levied beneficially to the industry as well as to the country as a whole there was an export duty of about 15% on this article